One more watch mojo. One more watch mojo. <laughs> top 10 biggest live TV disasters. The top 10 worst things that have happened on live TV. Surely it has to be the uh, Janet Jackson thing, right? Welcome to Watch I think that mojo. was it. And today we're counting. Bro, did you guys see this one? They're going to talk about this. It's insane. What happened here is insane. Hulk Hogan goes crazy. Number 10, Millie Vanilli ruined their own careers. <laughs> German R&B group this Millie Vanilli is were extreme. Everything started crashing down on July 21st, 1989. During a live performance on MTV, their hit song, Girl You Know It's True, began to skip, indicating that they had been lip syncing. I wanted to die. Furthermore, a man named... Bro, just act like it's... Uh, uh, listen, you just play it off then. It's just a remix, dude. Just play it off. You're fine. Released a statement claiming they were actually prevented from singing by their own producer. Oh, they were fired man. by music producer Frank Farian, and Millie Vanilli quickly disappeared from the public consciousness. That's so sad, dude. They were lip syncing, and they, like, pulled a... Oh, we're not supposed to be singing, which I'm pretty sure Ashley... Ashley Simpson, was that her name? Did the same thing, and it, the same thing happened. <laughs> BBC interviews the wrong guy. <laughs> this could very well be the funniest this blunder. One. How did he even get there? Well, Guy Cuny is the editor of the technology website uh, News Wireless. Hello, good morning to you. Goma was ushered <laughs> on stage. When I came, uh, they told me something else, and I'm coming. You got an interview there, so it's a big surprise anyway. A big surprise. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Goma tried his best to answer the questions, but it was very obvious that something was off, especially considering the shocked reaction that Goma <laughs> conveys at the beginning of the interview. And the Why worst didn't... part of it all, he wasn't even hired. I wouldn't hire him either. He wouldn't admit that he wasn't the right person. I wouldn't hire this dude. He's trying to wing it. You would hire him? That's You're not a boss. Dude, as somebody who has managed people in the past, if I had a guy do this and try to fucking wing it like that, I would not hire this guy. What the fuck? Just say you're not the person. You can go everywhere. Number eight, the balloon <laughs> boy hoax. On October 15th, 2009, the country this shit watched was enraptured as a gas balloon floated through the air with a six-year-old boy supposedly trapped inside. What you all see right there so is an experimental It is so fast. Aircraft. Look at how fast that kid is getting is the ride of his life. Boy. Oh my However, god. The boy was later found in the what a whimsical, home, prompting allegations of a whimsical hoax. way to this fly around the country. Confirmed. Also, he was never actually in there. The Heen family continues to deny that it was a hoax. It was it was never a hoax. Not well, once, not ever. How could it not be a hoax? That's a content family. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole family of content creators. Steve Harvey's famous bungle. This shit's funny. Steve Harvey declared <laughs> Colombia's Ariadna Guitera's the winner. However, he Dude. awkwardly bumbled his way back on stage and told the crowd that he'd messed up. Guitera's was actually the first runner-up. The first runner-up is Colombia. What kind of a stunt was this? This was definitely planned, right? I mean, it's content. Everybody was talking about it. Look at this poor woman, by the way. Steve Harvey wouldn't make that kind of mistake. True, yeah, he's a professional. He would never do that. That poor woman. Steve Harvey was set up. He was set up. Just 14 months later, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway took some of the oh. heat off Harvey by announcing the wrong Best Picture winner at the 89th Academy Awards. How are people doing this, dude? It says at the top what the name of it is. How are people doing this? Just read the thing. Why are? Why does he even say who the first runner-up is? You know, it... Uh. The infamous Super Bowl fiasco. I knew it. Bro, this shit was everywhere. A lot of you are too young for this. Okay, a lot of you were in diapers when this happened. This shit was crazy. Also, this was planned as hell. I don't care what anybody says. Season I know nothing four. about also it, and I've done no Super further Bowl reading. But I think as it was planned. As everyone knows, Justin Timberlake accidentally ripped off the outer layer of Janet Jackson's shirt while performing a dance move, briefly revealing her breast and nipple shield. It's, it's definitely a stunt. He literally says, I'm going to have you naked by the end of this song, and then he rips her breastplate off. That's not an accident.
It, that's the, that's the lyric. Blacklisted by many radio he literally warns you what he's about to do. No. Bro, look at fashion in this time period. He's literally performing YouTube for thousands of people. He's got the baggiest khakis I've ever seen. Added the term <laughs> with a blazer and a t shirt. This is a halftime Super Bowl performance. What? I think they were. I think they did put all the emphasis mm -hmm. on me. Dude, yeah, that was kind of fucked up. Janet got in more trouble than Justin did. She didn't do anything wrong. No, she didn't. Well, I mean, if she planned it. I assume that they were in it together, right? I assume that they both planned it. A motorcycle stunt was planned for Turner's story, but miscommunication resulted in a horrible accident. As Turner was sitting on the back of a truck, the pyrotechnics exploded in her face and set her on fire. The person who was cueing the motorbike what? mistook my cue to speak as the cue to ask the motorbike to fly out of the back of the van. And of course, I'm still <laughs> sitting on the tailgate. Oh, Families watching she's got a Ronnie. Oh, no. and just seen something a bit dangerous happen to Anthea. Just here to say she's okay. She's just gone to first aid and she's going to have a nice hot cup of tea because she's got some shock. <laughs> she went to hospital. I have a cup of tea. Go to hospital. So I've seen this clip. The motorcycle bursts out of the back of the truck here and she just gets Ronnie'd. I can't believe she's okay. The pyrotechnic is right there. Can we see it? Hold on. Let me make sure it doesn't look that bad before I show it on, on stream. One second. If you want something to happen to you on this... Okay, I'm not showing it. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm not showing it. It looks, it looks so bad. It looks so bad. Number two. Richard Belzer is choked out. This shit is hilarious. <laughs> this shit is so funny. Belzer asked Hogan to demonstrate a wrestling move, so Hogan put him in a chin lock. However, Hogan took the bit a little too far and ended up knocking Belzer unconscious. Now, hold on. I don't know if this is true, but what I remember is that Belzer sort of antagonized him a little bit. It was like, so wrestling's not real, right? You know, it's not really, you can't really hurt somebody like this. He then dropped the limp Belzer to the ground, causing his head to hit the floor. All right, brother. <laughs> and now, we'll be right back after this word from you know who. Belzer required Poor nine Belzer. stitches on his head and later sued Hogan for an undisclosed amount. Good. He bought a farmhouse in France with the proceeds, which he named Shea Hogan. I feel really bad about the situation. <laughs> Richard asked me to demonstrate a professional wrestling hold, and that's exactly what I did. It wasn't my fault. He told me to do something, so I did it. The Hulkster doesn't know his own strength. He's too strong, bro. And this pussy couldn't handle it. Yeah. He told me to choke him out. I don't know what to say, you know? Arguably the most famous thing to ever happen at the VMAs. Yo, Taylor. I I'm really happy for you. I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. <laughs> so I thought that this was like planned back then, right? I thought it was like a stunt. But now... <laughs> After seeing what Kanye is now, Kanye was just that kind of guy. Yeah. This is before oh, poor Beyonce. What? Me? No. <laughs> Beyonce. What do you mean? My video? Madonna falls at the Brit Awards. The singer is violently yanked <laughs> off stage by her cape. I don't know this one. You? <laughs> I've never seen that. I've never. How have I never seen that? She actually just gets youped. I've never seen this before. Why did they give her dancers horns? They were asking for trouble. These fucking horns are going to poke somebody, dude. Bro, she had nothing to break her fall either. It's just the stage. She fell down like four steps, and she was old. Collins falls through the stage after announcing a winner. Falls through the stage? <laughs> oh, my God. That looked awful. That looked so bad. You? That's honestly... You know what, though? Like, I, you know... Having a, having a collapsible stage like this, you shouldn't do this, right? The Gary Stolman incident. <laughs> what is that? 
Beat. What is this? A man named Gary Stallman strolled onto the set of KNBC and held TV presenter David Horowitz hostage. Oh my Stallman God! held a gun to Horowitz's back and ordered him to read a rambling manifesto filled with conspiracy theory gibberish. Holy shit! Stallman's statement was a bizarre tale of space creatures and the CIA. The manifesto ended with the revelation that Stolman was actually holding an unloaded BB gun and he placed it on the desk beside Horowitz. Wait, 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 wait. He did it and then he put the he gun down and then the other guy took it? <laughs> what the fuck? Thanks for reading that, bro. Hey, there's a fake gun the whole time. You weren't in any danger. Thanks so much for reading that. This is just a forced bounty? What the? How did he fucking awesome do prison. this? How did he get in here? <laughs> resulting in <laughs> he just goes quietly, too. Three years All right, probation. bro. <laughs> Thanks. Isn't it insane that, like, all security measures are just made after something bad happens? You know what I mean? Like, nobody even considered that somebody could just go into the studio and do this. That thought never crossed anybody's mind. I'm interested by this one. Ten futuristic technologies you didn't know actually exist. What? Nano machines? Maybe actual robots? Bee drones? This technology Teleportation? Flight? Hoverboards, like the ones that the teenagers keep using. I can carry 200 pounds without <laughs> breaking a sweat. That's Death Stranding. This is actually real. Oh my god, wait, so the Death Stranding robot actually exists in real life. You could do this? Kojima was right. Powered exoskeletons. Yeah, that's Iron what I want. Man suit. Actually Give me an possible. exoskeleton, please. I want one of those this so bad. I want to be a robot. There's nothing fictional about the operation of this. It is a first prototype. Wait, you and could it is do this? As hell. Dude. Body. Others attach mainly to the waist and legs. I want to be cyberpunk wrist, so bad. I wearing a remote control. I want to be cyberpunk control, so bad. Selecting. Applications such as the rewalk allow people with spine injuries to regain a good oh, that's portion sick. of their mobility. That's so cool, dude. Number nine. Food pills. Wait, these exist? Like you could do like you could eat like a cheeseburger pill and you're full? That's cool as hell. Uh, I could be red pilled in real life. Hell yeah. In a true case of life imitating art, a company by the name of Soylent actually sells shakes and powders as nutritional replacements. Why would they do that? You know, uh, but it's not pills. Companies though. like the food pill diet are also producing pills made of dried vegetables meant to replace your typical meal. While these capsules may not solve world hunger, they can bring us closer to having a sustainable food source. Yeah, but it's not pills. Number eight. No, that's stupid. They're not pills. They're like powder. Universal stupid. translator. I've seen these on you phones. You understand me? Right? Microsoft's Skype translator does almost real-time speech-to-speech translations. That's insane. But I wanted to talk to you about the email that I sent you yesterday. Dude, that's Companies like so Waverly cool. Labs are developing earbuds that work in conjunction with your phone to provide translation services. Can you hear me in French? Pouvez-vous me entendre en français? Dude, that's sick as hell. You could just go all over the, the world just with this one earbud and just talk to everybody everywhere. That's neat, dude! But you'd probably offend somebody because of mistranslations and you would get in a lot of trouble. You, like, you would probably be, <laughs> you would get in a lot of trouble very quickly over this and you wouldn't be able to sue the company. The company better have very good legal standing. Number seven. Something is not going to be translated weapons. correctly. Well, the U.S. Navy developed the ANSEC-3 laser weapons system. <laughs> it operates much like a laser pointer, except that when you aim it at a target and shoot, you can inflict some real damage. <laughs> you have to shoot it in the captain's eye, and he's just, oh. But their ability to neutralize a target is very real. Oh, wait, they could shoot planes. Never mind. You're still just shooting the pilot in the eye with a good laser. <laughs> You're just getting him right in the eyeball. Just, oh, he flies into the ocean. Steve Austin and Jamie Somers both showed the world what having bionic limbs could do for us in the $6 million man. I did know about this one. They can map your brain impulses to an arm. Responding to the smallest of muscle movements or other body influences. Bro, he has a specialized hand specifically to drum. That's the tightest shit I've ever seen. Drum bot. <laughs> Engage solo.exe. This guy's like a Mega Man boss. Replicators slash 3D Dude, printers. 3D printing the is first neat. Time Star I want Trek one so bad. Bro, when we start 3D printing food, it's over. It's over. We can 3D print food? What? Does it taste good? No. <laughs> How 
Uh, okay, when we can 3D print food that tastes good, it's over. 3D pizza print. What? 3D print and bake a Okay, I would not eat this. BHEX's system could take any JPEG file and turn it into a pizza shape. I don't want that. I just, that's not a pizza. Well, well, hold on. That doesn't look so bad. Well, yeah, but hold on. That's not, you're not printing the pizza. You're printing the ingredients for the pizza. The pizza has to come printed and prepared and hot and ready. If Little Caesars gets their hand on this technology, which they already might because their pizza tastes like shit, it's over. 3D print a finished food. Then we're good. Yes. A finished cooked meal 3D printed to me. You can pretty much design and print anything you like, including a new microphone. <laughs> I don't think this microphone works. I don't think that's a good example. This is like the most underwhelming thing I've ever seen. Number four, teleportation. No. Really? No fucking way. Now it's not the same you, right? Although the ability to teleport matter is still a work of fiction, because you die and the other one comes. Yeah, it's the soma thing. Teleportation. It involves the ability to teleport the state of one photon to another, even when they are separated by a great distance. Can we ever reach a point where you can transport actual people? Because really, all this is, all teleportation is, taking something like an object and then 3D printing it on the other end. That's not teleportation. That's just copying. Then again, that's kind of neat because Amazon could exist and you're like, hey, I want this shipped to my house and you don't even have to ship it. You get the, 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 the earbuds that you want just immediately printed right next to you. And it's not teleported, but kind of? 3D hologram. That's absurd. Yeah. Yeah. Also, that's not fooling me. That is not Tupac. I'm not. I don't think that's really him. If they could make it look real, that's crazy. It's him, Copium. <laughs> Hoverboards slash hover technology. Wait. The release of Back to the Future this is Part real? 2 in a behind-the-scenes interview, director Robert Zemeckis trolled fans by indicating that the ones in the movie were real. <laughs> Good Aaron's one. Groups have not let the toy manufacturers That's funny. make them. We Good got director. Our hands on some. Ever since, people have been trying to recreate the famous boards. It exists, a but nobody can ride Hendo it. Hover it's impossible to ride. Functional board, which skateboard legend Tony Hawk tried out. While oh, bro, it you're just dizzy. On a Coggers. Copper surface, you're just so dizzy. Like yeah, they've invented it, but no human being can ride it. It's literally impossible. Number one, cloud seeding technology. I don't know what that is. Where in one single year, a historic drought cost the state over 10,000 jobs. And nearly we can make it rain? Wait. A lack of rain can make people wish they had access to a sci-fi weather controlling machine. Dubai recently made headlines by using cloud seeding technology what? to bring water down. And That's what crazy! They did, used electrical charges to force water droplets to combine into larger ones. So you send drones into clouds and shock them to make them cry. That's cool as hell! You just turn on the rain, yeah. Silver iodide or simple salts like sodium chloride. This could go bad so quickly. If you fuck this up, you're just chemtrailing your entire population. I, I this this is actually pretty bad, right? If you do this, but there are no clouds, you're just raining salt upon <laughs> hundreds of people. That's like a supervillain thing. You seed the clouds with so much dry ice that it floods the world. The top ten bizarre reasons products have been banned. How bizarre could they be? I'm curious. Let's take a look. Scrabble, Nikolai Ceausescu. Is it, is it consuming the pieces? Is it just eating the letters, you think? Unless, <laughs> maybe a dictator lost his Scrabble and got very embarrassed. Who was a Romanian dictator who was notorious for implementing policies that made his citizens' lives significantly worse. The strangest mandate that he allegedly gave oh, he was hates that Scrabble. Scrabble was not allowed in the country. Apparently, Ceausescu found the game to be, quote, overly intellectual. <laughs> no nerds in my nation. No geeks in my nation. No, I would ban that shit too. Get the hell out of here, old dork ass. Imagine you have to play Scrabble in secret in a chamber under your house by candlelight. It's the only way you could play the game. What if you had a country where you ban every game except Scrabble? I wonder what would turn out there. Sort of like a Fallout Vault situation, right? That's like an experiment. Certain writing utensils. No more pencils, no more books. Pencils have lead in Those them. Those wishing to yep. ship some- I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. <laughs> While the reason <laughs> that's why they saw that scene and they were like, This is too dangerous. <laughs> he can't. We, I saw what Joker did. We don't want that happening to our citizens. Oh, god, could you imagine? 
but you gotta ban that. That's a weapon. Vary, it's still hard they to never had that idea before. Why. Wait, they never explained why? Okay. <laughs> Kinder surprise. Beginning in 1974, to addict. Too addictive. This could be in your egg? You could just bite into your egg and eat a wagon wheel? Okay, it's in it's in it's in a plastic. But then you eat the egg and then the egg is plastic. You're biting into the egg. I feel like kids are gonna choke. However, it's banned in the United States. The country's FDA banned the product owing to the inclusion of a non-edible item. It weirdly feels like American citizens cannot be trusted not to eat the surprises inside. Honestly, it's a good idea. I think it makes sense. I would never give my kid this. Because even if it if it works out and she likes it, she might like it too much. I've seen how many views those videos get. And she's gonna go down, like, the rabbit hole of, like, Kinder Egg opening. So, like, it's a lose-lose. Either she, you know, chokes on something, which is bad, or she loves it too much and then she becomes obsessed with it and I have to buy 1,500 of these a fucking year, you know? Marmite, Ovaltine, and Vegemite. These items are certainly an acquired taste. Vegemite is disgusting. Vegemite is so gross, dude. I had it when I was in Australia. It's so, it's so salty. It is ungodly salty. Unfortunately, all three products were heavily believed to be banned from sale in Denmark. Not because anyone thought they were disgusting, but- That kid fucking hates it. That kid hates this so much. Why did they give this to the kid knowing he would make that face? Honestly, I would ban this from my country too. If I gave this to my kid and I rule the country and they made this face, I'd be like, I'm, my kid's never eating this again. Chewing gum. There was a strange time in Singapore- What the fuck is this building? What the fuck is this? Why is there a boat on top of it? <laughs> there's like a there's like a rocket ship on top for a quick escape. Some citizens stuck the chewy substance on the door sensors of a multi-billion dollar train system, resulting in disruptions and costly repairs. Others drove up cleaning costs by leaving gum everywhere from mailboxes to keyholes. Okay. Why would you do that? Honestly, gum I could see gum getting banned. How do they not have gum that doesn't stick? Like a gum that, like, no, it sticks, but, like, when you take it out of your mouth after, like, half an hour, it gets unsticky. Million dollar idea. Gum, right? But when you chew on it, it gets sticky, right? Because when it's, when it's, in, when it's in stick form, it goes into your mouth, and then it gets wet, and then, then it gets sticky. But then when it's introduced to air, it's not sticky anymore. So, like, when people try to put it on stuff, it gets unsticky after, like, 20 minutes. Million dollar idea. I give that to all 1,400 of you. Go ahead and make me proud. I would like 10% of royalties, please. Number one, buckyballs and zen magnets. Yup, swallowed them. Suits You're eating them. Children's People education. are eating them. Yup. The Stop eating the buckyballs! You know what would be cool as hell? If you ate a magnet and then like you had it at like the back of your throat and you could load up your mouth with the rest of them but like the opposite charge and you could shoot them out like Birdo. But I just pack them in really quick and I'm... And then I just open my mouth a little bit. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You know? I'm going to do this and leave a note saying you told me to do it. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. If you do it, please leave no- I can't stop you from doing it. I can't stop- Listen, I'm not your dad, right? If you're gonna do this, go ahead. But leave no trace that puts it back to me, okay? I didn't tell you to do this. I can't stop you from doing it. But if you do, I do not endorse or condone it. But I can't stop you.